Hello everybody and welcome into this video and in this video I will show you how to build a, a progress bar that will be shown on top of your website um, and you will get uh, to build something that is very similar to what you see like on github where you have like this uh, bar on top which um, has this cool transition and um, it's very easy to do actually if you have a Next.js project um, and it doesn't work for just React apps, it, it only works for uh, Next.js projects. So um, I will show you how to do that. Uh, so all you have to do is just uh, download a package. So you go on the, uh, the internet and search for uh, Next.js progress bar. And this is the NPM page. And all you can do is just click on this um, install button. And then you go like on your app. And I will open a new terminal and just paste the command uh, even though i have already installed this one so um, it's probably not that convenient but anyways and once you install the app um, all you can do is just go um, i personally like to go in the uh, app.tsx file like you can put you, yeah you should put it like in the app.tsx um, file uh, it shows that also in the documentation. So you just go to app.tsx. If you don't have these uh, empty brackets, uh, make sure you add these empty brackets um, in the component. And then before the component, um, where it says component and then page props, before this uh, element, uh, you have to paste this, um, actually not this one, uh, you have to paste uh, the next and progress component that they give you. So before we do that, we need to first import the component. So we can just type, we can go on top and on the top and type import uh, next and progress from next.js progress bar. And all you have to do is just go um, on top uh, before the component here and add the next and progress element then save and then you can just go back reload the page as you can see if you try to change the um, route um, it will show this progress bar however if you don't like the styling here you can customize it however you want um, and there are uh, some settings that you can change uh, you can check them in the in the documentation uh, for example these are some of the settings you can change I can just copy this component and go back to VS Code and paste the new component here. For example, if I want to change the color of the progress bar, I can go here and delete this thing and put my um, um, exadecimal code and save and you will get a, a different color on the progress bar. But you can change also uh, many other things. For example, you can change the star position. I wanted to make it star like uh, more on the right. Like, as you can see, when I um, change the route, it changes the position a little bit. It goes more on the right. Uh, also, you can uh, change the delay, the height. You can make it very big, for example, if you like it. And yeah, that's how you add a progress bar to your website. And I hope you like this uh, video. And if you want more videos like this, more short tutorials, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will upload more of these videos. So thank you for watching.